Hi guys, Postman's Bin. So we've got the module, touch module, or touch switch module, to replace the one in here. So we'll have a go at it. Right. Put this back together so we didn't lose any of the bits. Uh, there'll be a link to the previous video where I actually took this apart to decide what was wrong with it. Well, I was pretty confident what was wrong with it, but I did do a video. So that's what we got to replace. And interestingly enough, this time, the colours all match. When I did one of these a few years back, the colours were completely different. So... to undo that so we can put that under there we need to disconnect these and I shall use one of these chocolate blocks to connect them back up again might as well use that one because that's got three wires or three terminals Wondering how much of that I can save. Not a lot. I wonder if I can crimp, crimp them sideways to release them. Oh, I could be really mean in that case. <laughs> I could reuse these. Uh. I want to lose them. Oh, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll write down the colours so we don't get confused. Right, there is a circuit diagram on there telling us what to do. So... That red is going to the brown of the lamp. Blue blue going to the blue of the lamp and the blue of the feed, the incoming. So that's our incoming there. And then the Brown go into there. Is going to the brown incoming. And then obviously that black is going to the frame. Um, I hadn't intended to reuse this, but I think I might. It's probably not absolutely the safest thing to do. But 
but if it works it just makes life that bit easier doesn't it right, this is the bit that's the awkward bit we've got to undo it I expect they'll fit yes I'll do So a bit of double sided sticky to hold that in place, that's what that was. I've got plenty of that somewhere. Obviously, if you've got the right size spanner, a spanner would be a better thing to use than doing it like this. But that seems to have done the job. Right, we'll put that to one side for a minute. And see if we can do what I said. All the blues went together. we can and then what I'll do is I'll use that bit to give it an extra crimp okay so that's all the blues together that red goes to the brown of the lamp. Make sure we get the right one. Brown of the lamp. And that red. squeeze not hard not to go all the way through all right and then brown to brown incoming brown to that brown
Right, those are all nice and tight. Shall we give it a try before we put it back together? Right. Got some power. Okay, it's on. Oh, we got a light. There we go. Success. I'll unplug it again. I'll get a little cable tie to strap that together like it was before and a bit of double sided foam sticky tape to stick it all in out the way. All right, cable tie is a bit bigger than the one that was there before, but it will do the same job. I don't think we're particularly pushed for space. Sticky both sides. special orientation for that I don't think that should be okay Done, plug it back in again. Come back a bit. Works. Job done. Just a little addendum to add to the end of the video. I was watching my original disassembly video and noticed that those tags had actually got some heat shrink over them to make sure that they were safe. There was no way that the tags could come off and the bare metal wires could make contact with the inside of the metal frame. I don't happen to have any suitable heat shrink at the moment so I've covered it with an electrician's tape. So that should be safe. No way that we're going to get the wires, conductors actually touching the metal frame. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.